Welcome to this Franklin Public School screencast. In this screencast, we're going to look at Safari and how to set up top sites. Some staff have been asking about top sites. This is what top sites is. Top sites pulls from the history of the web pages you visited the most, your top sites, and it sets up this little dashboard where you can click on these little mini views of the sites that you visited the most often. Some people like this, being able to jump to the sites you visited quickly. And this is, this is a, a look that you can set up as your preference for when you launch Safari, this is what will come up. So let's talk about the process for setting this up. The first thing you have to do if you want to use top sites is you go up into Safari and you go to preferences. Under preferences on the general tab it says here new windows open with and right now it's set to home page. I'm going to change this to top sites. And I close the window. So now anytime I launch Safari if I close it and reopen it as a test it'll open my top sites. Okay so that's the first step is setting that up. The next step is if you want to customize your top sites, you can. Down in the bottom left corner of the window is this edit button. When I click edit, it assigns a little corner button to each of these windows, either an X or a tack. What this also does in edit mode is you can now drag and drop and place these windows where you want them. You can also choose if you don't want this many, right now there's 12 screens here, if I wanted only six screens, I could choose between large, which shows some larger screens, only shows me six windows. Medium was the 12 I was on. Or small puts up a lot more than that. Looks like four, six, about 24 windows. Okay, so totally your choice if you want small, medium, or large. I'm going to choose medium. And let's say I start setting these up the way I want. So I can drag and drop and move these around. So I want my email login page here first. Um, I use Google a lot, so maybe I'll put Google up there. This is the class website or class wiki I use. And notice what happens as I drag and drop these. It's automatically thumbtacking them because the, the browser knows I've moved them and that I want that window in that position. So it's tacked them into that position. So they'll stay there. Uh, so then I can move these around and, and put some more wherever I want. If there's some that I see that I'm never going to use again, I can X them and it just brings in the next available top site. If you want to add some specifically, the best way to do this is leave this in edit mode like it is here. Go up to file, new window. This opens a second window, so I have one window in the background here that's in edit mode and this window is not. And let's go to a specific site that I want to add. Let's say that I want to add uh, my power teacher login and I notice that's not here. Okay, so I get to that in this window. I can then click and hold on the icon right before the address. This allows me to grab that address. And because I'm in edit mode over here, I can drag and drop the address from this window and I can plop it in right here. And it is now added essentially a bookmark, but it also added it as a top site because I, I purposely placed it there. So that is how you add top sites and move them around and customize them the way you want. And then that window will stay the same the next time you launch Safari. When you're done in edit mode, you can click done. And if I close these, let's close everything here and open it one last time and just see how it looks. And there are the top sites. So now I can click and go to the places I want to go to. You can add a button here on your toolbar, a top sites button represented by these little dots. If I go into view, customize toolbar, this is the top sites button. I can drag and drop that on there so that you can easily get back to your top sites if you like having to go back to kind of your main dashboard and jump to your other favorite sites. So it's just a functionality built into Safari that helps you to navigate around quicker to where you need to go. Thank you so much for watching.